Power Boat Racing returns to historic and picturesque Malta once again. Round one of the Ocean Grand Prix series continuing an association with World Championship Racing which goes back almost a decade. Saturday's sprint race was led away from the start by the Lucas Oil boat of Nigel Hook and Michael Silverberg with the Silverhook designer Ocker Manifelt watching his all new design in competition for the first time. But second place was less than it could have achieved. A pump that operates the vital trim tab gave up after three laps and the crew did a superb job of bringing the ill handling boat home for a rostrum finish. Victory in the Evo class went to the Belgian duo of Pierre Colpin and Frank Hamler, who took the lead on the third lap and pulled steadily away from the field, completing the start plus 10 laps of the 4.4 mile course in just under 45 minutes. The Supersport crews had one less lap to cover, and those crews standing in open cockpit arguably take more punishment when conditions are as heavy as they were this Saturday afternoon. Though they're limited by the regulations to 85 miles an hour, they're hitting the water almost as hard as the Evo boats and the Italian pair in the RG87 racing team boat Carol Pew took an early lead and just chased away from the whole Supersport field to record a maiden victory and tuck away the first of the season's points. Sunday's conditions were harder still, and a heavier sea suits the longer boats better. But Saturday winner Fernibo is the shortest of them all, but it got the best start this afternoon. C-Rex was in trouble at the start, but managed to join in late and a lap down, looking to rack up points, which could prove vital at the end of the season, and that determination paid off. Lucas Oil started the race with a hatch open and once again began a close fight for the lead with Fernibo. But a broken torque sensor in the drive shaft forced the crew to limp round to the finish, just getting in enough laps to claim a third place. Silverline also lost a torque converter early on, but continued with lots of RPM, but not much drive and not much to show for it at the end. But that German persistence paid off for German designer and builder Siggy Grieve and Douglas Furbank, who maintained a good pace and easily completed enough laps before the flag to claim second place. Once again, it was the Belgian crew in Fernibo who ruled the seas off Malta, and they leave the Mediterranean with maximum points haul, and that sets them up with a big advantage. And next time out, they're in Den Helder in the Netherlands, almost home soil, and surely plenty of local support. We started uh, on Friday, we had some problems. Uh, Nico and the other crew did a wonderful job. They found the, the solution for the problems and uh, the victory is for the whole team, absolutely. The Supersport ranks were hit by problems from the start. The Force One Sif retiring after morning practice with an engine bay full of fragments. At the start, it was Saturday's winners in Carol Pugh who took the lead, but at half distance, the boat slowed and was passed by the Jolly Drive in fine style. Heading off in a lead, the Italian crew never lost. And they became the second Supersport winners of the weekend. Great weekend. Third yesterday, first today. It's the first time that we win, so we are really very, very happy.